I don't know whether the light's really good on this. Right. <laughs> right. No. This isn't exactly how I wanted the video footage to come out, but I don't know, it gives a fuck. I'm just going to say it how it is. However it is right now is however it fucking is, and that's the direction my life is going. Oh, fuck, I'm talking like a fucking goddamn sh uh, I'm talking like a fucking sheep. This is fucked. Anyway, look. First of all, Hersey, you're a fucking idiot for trying to kill me that fucking day. Second of all, I'll keep it nice and simple. Yous are all talking about fucking Hersey to me. Hersey, you and your mates date raped me, cunt, fucking in fucking Gratian's fucking goddamn fucking uh, house when I was 18. Jackie was in there with you. You're telling me that Jacqueline was standing there with a fucking syringe while I was unconscious doing some Lexus shit or whatever the fuck it is you're calling it now. You were all standing around, she was a part of it and blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. She was fucking drunk. You were trying to fuck her while I was awake. I said fucking no. Then you came out. I sculled some wine and I blacked out. Then I wake up and I go into my room like any other 18 year old would. And I fucked my girlfriend. Then when I went to sleep, I wake up and fucking I realised the bedroom window was open. An 18 year old, then I didn't, I'm not really thinking about it. Later on in life, I realised what you've done to me, but now I'm thinking there's a possibility that maybe you fucked her while she was asleep. Or she was drunk. Either way, it don't make a difference. You fucked her while she was drunk. She might have been promiscuous and stuff back then. She might have sucked a fucking dick while on me back. I don't know. I don't really care. But she was fucking drunk and you took advantage of her. One way or another. Ten years later, you fucking... Ten years later, you try... Well, ten, twelve years later, you try killing me in your fucking house, cunt. You shined me. I don't use methamphetamine. I don't use fucking drugs. I don't stick fucking needles in my arm. I'm not, I don't use needles. All you fucks use needles. These are all fucking... These are all fucking meth addicts. You shined me. And then you poisoned me. And you tried fucking killing me. So I left. Now... What I'm doing in my life is my business. But all of your friends, all of his friends, all of Hersey's friends, all of his friends, they're all fucking sex offenders. Justin's a sex offender. There's 20 of us in a room. I'm 18, 19. I'm watching Justin with a 14 year old girl sitting on his lap. He's kissing her in front of us. Nobody said anything. Was Hersey's girlfriend. He took her around to his hair, just to Justin's house. He fucked her. She said to me in the back of the car, can you do, can you do something about it, Kudzi? I said, okay, let's go do it, Hersey. Hersey turned around and said to me, no, don't worry about it. She looked, she looked, she looked mortified. Justin's a sex offender. All their friends are sex offenders. Uh, they're all fucking meth addicts. They all use fucking needles. They're all drug addicts. I don't care what I'm experiencing right now. They're all drug addicts. Now, he's covered in tattoos. He's got a shame's fucking cross on his left arm. I don't care. He's covered in tattoos. He's got a shame's cross. Now, when you try killing somebody in your house, I didn't do anything. Second of all, when I left, you, like, I didn't even, didn't even write a statement, didn't snitch. I went to the cops, I went to the police station and I launched myself over the counter. Because after 48 hours, I had nowhere else to fucking go, cunt. Because I was that paranoid from whatever fucking he gave me. There was fucking people everywhere. And then... It, just happens that you fucking turned up and put tapes down that you said you weren't filming. You have a bikey, look, you have a comment, you, you have a you have a bikey or a gang member in your house threatening to kill me, cunt, and then you went to the police station and you put the fucking tapes down on the fucking goddamn counter. When I was out the back, they left the door open for me to hear it. Those cops left those fucking that station left the door open for me to hear you say that. Now you might have said, open the door so we can hear what I'm saying. You said you were a cop. Now, you might be a registered informer. I'm pretty sure at the age of 16, you fucking actually registered having a fucking dog chase and Dale got bitten. Now, Dale was there the night that fucking I got fucking, I got gronked out, cunt. 
in Grayson's house. What you used to do to Jackie, I have no idea. What you did to me, I have no idea. I woke up incapacitated. I woke up at the fucking, I woke up at the table, just went into my room as per normal. But the, I didn't know the window was open. The window was open. Second of all, years later on, you just called me up. All I said, you called my phone. You called my phone. You called my phone. And all I, all I said was, who's this? You said it's Hursty. I said, who else is there? And then I got, I got fucking Shorty, Shorty said something. And I said, who else? And you said some fucking female was there. And then I said, are you a cop? She said, yes. Then I hung the phone up. These are all fucking sex offenders, mate. These are all drug dealers. This isn't how I wanted the video footage to come out. I wanted it to come out a little bit more elegantly, but fuck it. It doesn't make a difference. These are all fucking sex offenders. Okay? These are all criminals, man. Hershey's selling methamphetamine in small bags, is he? He's a police informer, is he? He's selling methamphetamine. They're all drug dealers. They all use methamphetamine. They all use fucking needles. The whole lot of them. They're all fucking meth dealers. They're all fucking meth addicts. Hersey used to fucking sell people fucking shit fucking ecstasy tablets with full of fiberglass and fucking nothing else. Okay, I might have had some ecstasy growing up when I was a kid. So, I sold people fucking, I, I might have sold people fucking, I, I might have taught kids how to hustle. I taught kids how to hustle with MSM. And all the money that they made off my fucking name and my reputation and paying for their fucking entry fee and paying for all their fucking transport and stuff like that just to for them to have it there's no sex involved there was no nothing there's no I don't ex, when people work for me I don't expect fucking I don't expect nothing off them you fucking all the money that they made went towards them getting their house back going back to their parents and fucking eating food in less than three months man most of those kids most of those kids that were 19, 20 18, 19, 20, they were all fucking back at home with their parents, man. They didn't want to go out nightclub anymore because they didn't want to end up like that. That's who you are. Now, I don't know who fucking got you to call, but there was two fucking cops in the fucking room with me afterwards in full dressage. There's a black box in the room, cunt. It doesn't matter what phone you use, dickhead. The phone can be located. You think I want to give you a fucking phone, cunt? You think I want to do any of that stuff? I don't want to do nothing for you, mate. You understand that? You got yourself involved with those people, man. Not me. You rang me. These are all fucking drug addicts, man. I haven't fucking... I, I haven't sold fucking drugs ever. And I've never fucking... I mean... I haven't... I haven't done anything for a very long fucking time. When you're fucking hustling out in the street, cunt, or you fucking, you're working the fucking nightclubs, you're going to work, you're doing stuff, when you're doing all that shit, when you're doing all that stuff, man, if you're not doing it the right way, you're, you're not who you say you are, you're the beat police, you're the beat police, man, you're a fucking registered informer. You're a registered informer that sells fucking meth with shame tattoos on your cunt. You're a scumbag. All your cunts are scumbags. Everybody you hang around with, man, fucking has a 14-year-old girl is your mate? 14-year-old girl that you're fucking that sitting here with a cunt, kissing him, and none of you cunts fucking say, say anything? Mate, he's a fucking crazy shit. Every single person fucking sitting there saying stuff to me, allegedly, which is what all these fucking cops are fucking saying, right? Which is exactly what they said to me in the jail cell, cunt. That they're your friends. They're your friends, cunt. They're not my friends. None of these people are my friends, mate. I let you off the hook, man. Even after you tried killing me, cunt. Right? <laughs> You're fucking mad. You're mad. 
Do you understand that? All those fucking cocksuckers, man, are all fucking goddamn fucking like dirty syringe fucking needle filled fucking cunts. Now I, I don't I don't give a shit what you think's going on in your life. I don't care what you fucking think's going on. I don't know you man. I don't know any of you fucking people. You say a lot of bullshit man and you fucking called me up when I was in my hotel room cunt on my phone. There was two fucking uniform coppers in my room straight afterwards, cunt, in full dressage. So... You know, I... You, you're all selling drugs with dirty fucking tattoos, dirty hands, Hanging around fucking Asian cunts and all sorts of shit. Drugs coming in, drugs coming out, getting raided, fucking dropping tapes. Dropping tapes at the fucking police station, cunt, telling me that you're a cop. Well, maybe you are, maybe you're not. It doesn't make a difference. You're still fucking sitting there with somebody, cunt. Like, you, you don't understand what I'm saying. I wouldn't say that to me out here. Or in there, or back there, or over there, or up there, down there. I don't give a fuck what's going on in your life, mate. Don't fucking... Don't even try it. Don't even fucking try it with me, cunt. No matter what you think's going on with me in the past fucking 23 fucking years, idiot. I haven't seen you... I saw you once. Once? Once. I saw you once, man, after fucking, uh, you, I think you, like, you, you hung around with me for, like, six months, man, after fucking Afghanistan started, the war on terrorism, you hung around with me for, like, six months, man, on a Friday night, and then after that, I left, I ain't fucking hanging around you, cunt, I don't know you, I don't want to know you. I don't know you, I don't know your friends, I don't know any of your fucking goddamn fucking... I don't know any of your fucking goddamn fucking, uh... Any of your shame shit, I don't know any of your dirty fucking hands, your throat tattoos, or any of your fucking black cunt mates, or your white cunt mates, or fucking yellow mates, I don't give a fuck, I don't know any of you fucking cunts. You stay the fuck away from me and you'll be just fine. Right? But don't... Don't get any fantasized ideas about fucking sitting there, fucking giving me cuddle time and shit like that. Hold a knife in my fucking throat. You poisoned me, you fucking prick. You cunts poisoned me, mate. And then sat there asking stupid questions. After I fucking... Mate, don't even fucking ask. Fucking idiot.